over x. Uh, y over log x. Log y over log x, right? We have four combinations so that our beta will be different. Right here, same thing. You're going to make a combination. It, just now, we've already discussed a case y over dummy variable, right? Y over dummy variable, such as income over, over male dummy, right? Now we're going to make it more complicated. Say, how about log y, for example, log income over a dummy variable? Let's see, in this case, in this case, what's our beta? What's our beta? Again, something like a log income over male dummy, right? So let's see. Uh, before, words, before I introduce this, let's recall our knowledge uh, for a continuous variable. If we have a log y over continuous x, for example, log income over, say, education, where education is a continuous variable, right? Still remember, how do we interpret the coefficient beta? The little trick was uh, ch take a change both sides, right? So that change log y is beta times change x, right? So that the corresponding sentence will be, when your change in x is one, right? Change in x is one. In other words, then your x increases by one unit, right? The beta will be change in log y, right? Change in log y. Of course, of course, I don't want you to, to say your log income increased by one dollar, right? That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. It before words, we interpret, in that case, we, we interpret something like percentage change in y, right? I told you guys before, change in log, change in log y is exactly percentage change in y. Still remember this? Right? Uh, that's the conclusion of a, of a continuous x. The x is continuous variable such as education. Now we're going to extend to the case. How about x is a dummy variable, 0, 1? First of all, I will show you, actually, you cannot use, ex, use the same interpretation we learned before. The x is a dummy variable, 0, 1. You cannot use what we learned before to, to interpret. In other words, you cannot say something like, uh, say, for male, that means uh, male, female, you know, uh, uh, when, when your male gender increased by one unit, your, your, your income can increase by, by, for example, suppose beta is a 0 0.5, your income increased by 50%. No, it's not true, not 50%. Actually, I'll show you the percentage change between male and female is not 50%. If you want to know the difference between male and female, you have to use a new formula to calculate. In other words, for, for dummy variable, you have to use a different way rather than continuous variable. Before words, when x is a continuous variable, for example, if beta is a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is already the percentage change in income, right? Whenever education increased by one year, 0 0.5 is a percentage change in income, which is 50% your income increased by 50%, right? But if X is a zero and dummy variable, male, female, now between male and female, the difference, actually the income is not, change in income is not 50% anymore. You have to use a new formula to calculate and then interpret. What's the new formula? It's E to power beta then minus one. Again, e to the power beta minus one. For example, suppose beta is a 0 0.5. You have to use a e to the power 0 0.5, calculate that number, and then minus one. Once you calculate the number, that number is the percentage change between male and female. So first of all, let me show you, let me prove this for you, and then give you an example. How do we do the calculation, and then how to interpret on the first? And so, the proof, this is for learner purpose, not very hard. Uh, but if this is confuse you, you can ignore this part. I won't put into into the exam. But again, the proof actually very easy. Let's use some shorthand notation. Uh, log y0, log y1 stand for the case of when x is a 0 and a 1, you know, for the two cases. In other words, the first one, the first one, log y0 is when plug in 0 plug in, say, for example, uh, female dummy, right? 
and plug in one for male workers, right? So log y y zero is alpha only. Log y one is alpha plus beta, right? So we have two equations, plug in zero and one. Similarly, we're going to calculate the difference between these two equations. Just like before, right-hand side, alpha and alpha cancel it out. We have beta only. Left-hand side, left side, we have a log y1 minus log y0, right? The difference is our beta, right? Let's take a closer look. Log y1 minus log y0. We have a nice property about log function, which is a log a minus log b equals to log a divided by b, right? That's that's a nice feature of a log function, right? So that left-hand side, you can rewrite into log y1 divided by y0, right? Log of this equals to beta. I simply rewrite the left-hand side into this, right? If you know this, then both sides, let's take an exponential function, e to power this and e to power beta, right? So right-hand side, it's e to power beta. Left-hand side, e and the log, they cancel out each other, right? So that left-hand side is simply y1 divided by y0, right? So y1 divided by y0 is e to power beta. Now, finally, both sides, let's minus one. Right-hand side minus one is this, right? Left-hand side, if you minus one, if you minus one, it's exactly, you know, y1 minus y0 divided by y0. You can verify it very easily, see? First one divided by y0 is right here. Second one divided by y0 is, is one, right? You can verify this term is exactly this, so that equals to this. So we showed that e to power beta minus one is this part. What's this? It's y1 minus y0 divided by y0. For example, your sales, for example, initially it's 100. And if it increased to 120, right? 120 minus 100 divided by 100, right? It's exactly 20%, right? <laughs> so we, sh we just proved that actually the percentage change in y it should be e to power beta minus one. This is the formula to calculate the percentage change in y, right? For the case, x is a dummy variable. Beforewards, when x is a continuous variable, we can directly use beta, for example, 0 0.5, as a percentage change in income, right? But now the formula will be totally different. You have to use e to power, for example, 0 0.5 minus 1, right? Calculate that number and then, you know, simplify the number, whatever it is. Let's say, suppose it's a 0 0.4 or something. Then that number is a percentage change in, in your income, right? So it's totally different. So that's why... You know, we introduced this formula. For example, suppose suppose we run the regression log income over male dummy. Suppose our beta head is a 0 0.8. Then by using the formula we just introduced as e to power 0 0.8 minus one, computer says it's a 0, 1.2. So it's a 122%, right? So the corresponding sentence will be male versus female, male versus female, the percentage change is 122%. In other words, male, their income is 122% higher than female, right? <laughs> A lot higher, right? So that's the corresponding sentence. You cannot directly use a number 0 0.8, just like before, right? And you cannot directly say male is, I say, 80% higher than female. No, it's wrong. Uh, that you have to use a formula to calculate the number and then to interpret, right? Suppose suppose we run the regression log income over education. Suppose education, the coefficient is a 0 0.8. Now you can directly use 0 0.8 as the percentage change, right? You can say whenever your education increased by one year, your inc income can increase by you know, 0 0.8, which is 80% higher, right? So no more calculation needed. But for a dummy variable male, you have to convert by using e to power 0 0.8 minus one, calculate the number, and then that number is a percentage change for dummy variable, right? So in other words, suppose we have a regression, say, what I'm saying is, uh, 
suppose we have a regression log income uh, equals to say, make up some numbers, say 100 plus 0 0.8 times education plus 0 0.8 times a male. Even though both coefficients are 0 0.8, even though both coefficients are 0 0.8, the percentage change of income from education and a male, you know, male and female, they're totally different. For this, education is a continuous variable so that you don't have to do any calculation. Whenever your education increased by one year, the percentage change in income is exactly 0 0.8, which is 80%, right? But for dummy variable male, male is a dummy variable. Now you have to do this kind of calculation, e to the power 0 0.8 minus 1, which is 1.22, right? So that the percentage change is not 80%. Actually, it's 122%, much higher than 80%, right? So that's why for continuous variable and dummy variable, actually, even though the coefficient is exactly the same, the percentage change actually totally different. You have to use a, the right formula, depends on continuous and or dummy variable, right? Use the right way. That's it. Yeah, so when we have the, for example, the log of income, we're assuming that's the natural log of income. Right. If the log was not the natural log, but in fact had a different base, you know, log four or log with the base of seven or something like that, can we still use the E or would we need to change that formula? Mm, it, sh it should be different. <laughs> so, but first of all, generally speaking, uh, usually we use a natural log to make it easy. Everybody use a natural log. Uh, second of all, if you really want to use other numbers as base, for example, use 10 as base, then definitely this formula is a base right here is not E anymore, right? You have to do, uh, you know, do a different transformation. So it's beyond our requirements so that we do not introduce <laughs> in detail. But uh, similarly, you have to do another conversion. Uh, so this is already you know, simple to us. But frankly speaking, when I go to those uh, seminars or presentations, those conferences, many, many people interpret their results wrong. Many people, when they run regression, you know, show their regression, uh, show a table. Some of the coefficients, some coefficients, you know, they are, they're continuous. Some of them dummy variable. Many authors, they, when they present the result, they, they totally ignore, you know, if they are continuous or a dummy variable. They treat the two exactly the same, you know, <laughs> explain the, the coefficient the, the same way. <laughs> it's, of course, I, we shouldn't do it that way, right? So after my course, now you know, depends on dummy variable or continuous variable, we should interpret them differently, right? Again, we are talking about the case when our y is in lock, right? This is the first detail, first trick. Second trick I want to show you is, uh, as we learned before, you can either use male dummy or use a female dummy, right? If the male dummy give us a positive 0 0.8, then the female dummy must give us a negative 0 0.8, right? That's a difference by a negative sign. So let's do the same trick. If you use a formula e to the power negative 0 0.8 minus, minus 1, then the number is a negative 0 0.55, which is a negative 55%, right? Which is a 55%. Now, first of all, this is the interesting part. If you use a male dummy, the percentage change is 122, which is a very large, larger than 100%, right? If you use a female dummy, actually percentage change is much smaller, only 55%, right? So depends on in your, your dummy variable, either use a male dummy or female dummy. The betas, they are the same, either positive 0 0.8 or negative 0 0.8, right? Only differs by negative sign but the corresponding percentage change totally different. One of them is positive 102%. The other one is a negative 55%, right? One, look, one of them looks really large. The other one looks really small, right? First of all, first of all, actually both of them are correct. Both of them correct. 
So, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, don't think one of the right, the other one. Why? But why they look so different? Actually, let me explain this way. For example, for example, think about, for example, when price increase from 100 to 150, if you look at 100 increase to 150, then the percentage change is difference, which is 50 divided by 100, by, divided by initial value, right? So the percentage change is 50%, right? But if you look at the other way around, if, if we decrease from 150 to 100, right? Decrease from 150 to 100, the percentage change is negative 50 divided by initial value, which is 150 instead, right? Now percentage change is only negative 30, 33%, right? In my example, either positive 50% or negative 33% could be totally different, right? The only difference is either increase from here to here or decrease from there to here, right? So you could got totally different than numbers. That's why in my case, I, I compare from male versus female, female versus male, right? <laughs> you know, the, in terms of percentage, it could be totally very, very different, but both of them are correct. Right, both are, you know, they, they look way different, right? Right, <laughs> but again, both of them are correct. It's something like, uh, say, for example, I, I can give you some numbers such as, I uh, say, uh, think about the case, say, um, if we increase from, say, uh from one one hundred increases to say um and let me make up some numbers to to give you actually just based on these numbers if we increase from uh say one hundred to two hundred then the percentage change will be you know, 100 divided by 100, which is uh, 100%, right? If you de decrease the other way around, it will be 50 divided by 200, only 50%, right? Similarly, if you calculate 100 to, to 300 or 100 to 400, so on so forth, the difference, it will be one of them larger than 100, the other one much smaller than 100%, right? So <laughs> that's, why, that's why both are correct, but they could be look so different. That's why it actually happens very frankly. When I look at those, uh, for example, when I read those journal articles for the same topic, and uh, <laughs> I find many papers, they, they <laughs> look like they disagree with each other. Some paper argue, you know, <laughs> you know the, the, the change is so big, such as larger than 100%. Some journal articles argue that actually the change is very small, such as a 50%. If you look at it closely, actually, they did exactly the, the same thing. They, you know, the only difference by which one you use as your benchmark. So actually, although numbers look so different, but actually they're talking about the same thing. So, <laughs> First of all, this is something kind of silly to me, so that very often in the literature, some papers they argue, I found something totally different from the previous literature. <laughs> Actually, no, you are, you are exactly the same thing as before, right? You just use a different uh, benchmark. <laughs> Although your number looks different, but in essence, actually, same thing, right? Uh, second, of, second of all, actually, it's a little trick. I <laughs> I always talk show my co-authors to my friends. If you don't like the result, I can show a little trick to to make your percentage change, <laughs> you know, either much bigger or much smaller. Just just way to the benchmark so that you can you can adjust your result so differently. <laughs> so so that's the little little trick. Some some details I want to share with you. So now you know you know why they're different. You know, although they look so different, but actually. You you can you can kind of manipulate them <laughs> as you like, right? So <laughs> the two actually exactly the same thing, but uh, you know, simply switch a 
different benchmark, you can get a totally different uh, percentage change, right? But uh, both of them are correct. Uh, we've already, um, um, let me see, did we cover everything in the homework? Actually, yes.